What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you're having a great Taco Tuesday. Uh, for five players on the Dallas Cowboys, it's not a great Taco Tuesday. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys here uh, two hours before uh, the deadline have trimmed the roster down to 80 people. And, of course, you know, this is hard. It's always hard to let guys go. Um, but at some point, you know, you got to get down to the 54-man roster. Um, what's going to be a shock for a lot of the players is um, after next week, cutting down the roster. You know, next Tuesday they'll be cut down to 54 before they'll bring back the practice squad. And when they go in there to start practicing and all of a sudden you were used to having 90 people in there, now all of a sudden the numbers are way lower. You start realizing, wow, I lost a lot of friends and teammates here. So let's get to it. Uh, first of all, I had already put up there because the first cut was Larum, um, you know, the kicker. Okay, the kicker. Uh, he was the first one that they let go. Um, not a surprise there because they ended up bringing back Money Maher, and hopefully Maher will be money from here going forward. Uh, wide receiver, Jacardi Robinson, he was also cut. Um, the Cowboys look, and, you know, I mean, we've got actually a lot of young guys, you know, with Vasher and, of course, Semi and um, – uh, of course, Jalen Tolbert and stuff, you know, you can't keep everybody in. Noah Brown. So, you know, basically we know those guys are the guys that are all going to make the roster. And so, you know, when you're, you're on the outside looking in. Cornerback Quadri Mosley, he's cut. So for those out there thinking that um, uh, Kevin Joseph is going to get cut right now, he's not getting cut right now. In fact, I don't think he will get cut. Um, I think it's just um, uh, you got too much invested to after one year to let him go. Um, linebacker, one of the free agent signings that we had later, uh, linebacker Christian Sam. I'm not really surprised in this one. Christian Sam, um, journeyman linebacker, more of a camp body than anything else. And once they signed Anthony Barr, definitely made him expendable. Um, he did have a little bit experience, a l very little bit. But now you start looking at this and saying, nah, we appreciate you, and um, you're gone. Also, uh, he was injured as well, so he didn't really get that much playing time in training camp. One that might be a little bit of a surprise, although he's been injured as well, is Jeremy Sprinkles. Uh, tight end is definitely what, Mike, Mike, Mike. You know, every time I think of Jeremy Sprinkles, I think about Sprinkles. That's, that's like a stripper name. I, it's just it just is like a stripper name, but uh, Jeremy Sprinkle is, is gone. Now this is not to say that the Cowboys don't bring him back because um, what you do here is uh, more than likely probably these guys don't. Now the the next round of cuts will be guys. Some will be coming back on the practice squad, and some guys you know after you start losing players. And this is where I, what I really don't understand is this is why the NFL doesn't allow you to have a larger roster. Because here's the thing. This is what's, let's think about this for a second. Football, more than any other sport, you lose players. Okay? Why not have a 60 man roster and a 20 man practice squad? Are we literally going to say that it's going to cost that much more money to have six guys on the roster? We're talking about guys that are going to be making the minimum. The practice squad, an extra four guys. It's chump change. You know, we literally are talking about. You know, uh, the Dallas Cowboys worth $8 billion. Are you telling me that we couldn't spend maybe $3 million more a year to have extra players? Because here's the thing. These are getting guys up to speed and ready to play. So when you do lose players, you have players that know the system. The product would actually be better on the field by having some of these guys in working out, ready to take these spots as time goes on. To me, it's, it's one of the dumbest things that's out there that you don't look at this because in the end, it's all about the product. It really is. All right, I know I need to get my hair cut. It's kind of getting long and kind of crazy, and I didn't put anything on it, and uh, I've been laying and rolling around the floor trying to fix the washing machine and stuff, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, if you're tuning in for my good looks, then you're in the wrong place because it's all about the Cowboys. All right, I will catch you guys later. Don't forget, we're going to have our fantasy draft live tonight, and you never know. We might have some new surprises and stuff for you guys. All right, peace out.